Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 33 bread and butter bolos coming your way, items that I bought low and I sold for $35 or less on eBay. Um, I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I source my items at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, um, Facebook Marketplace, and YouTube auctions. I am a full time reseller. I have been doing this since 2005. Um, a little about me I started this with retail arbitrage clothing. That's my journey. And I did clothes for so many years. I'm going to say I've been doing hard goods for four or five years. So I was a clothing reseller, you guys. Some of you may find that hard to believe because now I like clothes are not my thing. So I can't believe I did clothing for so long. But, you know, that's what's great about this business is everybody can do and sell exactly what they want, what they love. And um, I love my job. So mix it up, you guys. Try something different. You can make it work. I mean, I completely switched the complete model of my business more. All right, you guys, let's get started here. So I'm going to, I don't know if I said this, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And we're going to get started. We're just going to dig into these bolos here. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I have tons of bolo content. That is what I do. I share bolos. I share mine. I share members of my Facebook group. I share members of my channel. So you guys are going to find tons of bolos here. All right, this first item. I got this at a thrift store for $2 and I sold it for a bust offer of $35. The buyer was all in for $59.58 for this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stocking. It is plush. I always pick up plush stockings. I kind of have a weakness for them. Some go fast. Some of them take a while to sell. Some of them have been sitting a long time. It just kind of varies. But if I can pick them up cheap, I get them. The next item I sold is this big jumbo plush dog. Um, I put pillow toy just because it's so big and it's kind of flat. So um, I ended up selling this for a best offer of $35 and the buyer was all in for $59.58. I believe this came out of a Facebook marketplace haul that I got, but honestly, I cannot remember. Okay, this sheep. Um, it's by Lefton. Let me show you what it says on the bottom. There's the information. It's from 1985. If I remember, it's got a chip on the hoof right here. It's got a small chip. So I just disclosed that. I don't know if it was like that when I bought it or if I did it. But I got it at the Goodwill for two bucks. I ended up selling this for $15 and the buyer was all in for $22.92. The next item I sold are these mini Boyd's Bears. These are not the mini bears that I talked about in that video that are going for big money right now that are trending. If you have not seen that video, go check it out so you know what to look for. But I looked the other day and they are still trending. It is crazy. Um... I got these at a garage sale for $1.50. I ended up taking a best offer of $22 and the buyer was all in for $28.46. So Boyd's Bears, if I can get them for 50 cents to a buck, I will typically pick up the plush. Um, a lot of them are long tail. They take a while to sell, but they usually sell. So it's kind of uh, just a personal thing that I like to pick up and a lot of people stay away from. The next item is this Octonauts Octopad replacement part. It's the support arm. Um, I have a video on this on my reseller testing Bolo products. I parted out an Octonauts set and I've done really, really well with parting it out. This piece right here sold for $21.60 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $38.69. So what I did is I bought it at a garage sale. It was missing some stuff. So I parted it out. I can't remember if I did a separate video on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I know I have another video on Octonauts. So check those out. Um, it's definitely a good um, area to, to learn about. Okay. This was a long tail item. Took a little while to sell. I still have a bunch left. 
Uh, this is another one that I parted out. It is a 1996 Tyco um, Sesame Street Radio Control Railroad. I got this in a mystery box. If I remember correctly, it was missing pieces or something didn't work. I can't remember, but I decided to part it out instead of selling it together. I sold these for $18. The buyer was all in for $30.59. But this is a long tail item and it will... Um, it will probably take me a little while to sell the other pieces, but my cost of goods is like next to nothing. So here is another replacement part. You guys can see I like to part things out. This is a Calico Critters um, floor piece. So I, I'll pick up these houses really cheap and they'll be missing parts. So I will just part them out. And this is the floor and it sold for $22. The buyer was all in for $30.56, you guys, for a floor. These candles I picked up at a thrift store for two bucks and I sold them for $23.04. The buyer was all in for $37.12. So they are like a spiral twist with a uh, um, holly on them. They're really, really cool. And they sold faster than I expected. This is a little needlepoint gingerbread house, you guys. It's very, very small. Um, let me see right here, about four inches. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $12.00. And the buyer was all in for $18.73. So the funny story behind this is I had went to a garage sale and they had a whole bunch of these needlepoint items like this, houses and stuff. And I thought about getting it, but it was just priced for more than I wanted to pay. So I left. And I thought about going back and trying to negotiate with them. And I was like, no, I don't want to drive all the way back there. You guys, wouldn't you have it, the next week I'm in the Goodwill and they had donated it all. Um, I still paid up a little bit for it, but um, after I listed everything and counted out the listings, I ended up paying $3.50 per listing. So this one I paid up for, but the other ones um, will sell for more. So it was really a good deal. But kind of a funny story where you're like, oh, I should have, I should have negotiated and then I find it at the Goodwill. Is that awesome or what? All right, these came out of a mystery toy box that I got from Auctions for You. I do have an unboxing video on my channel. So I source at uh, YouTube selling events and auctions. And I source from Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys hear me talk about them all the time, probably annoyingly so, but I get so much good stuff from them and they're always in my what solds. And, you know, if somebody is, doing something that's fantastic. And I think that you guys can make money. Like I'm going to share that with you guys. Um, just like the things that I use, like list perfectly, that makes my business easier and worth point and all of those things. They're all linked down below. Anyway, did I tell you what the cards sold for? They sold for $12 and the buyer was all in for $18 and 88 cents. All right. The next item is this cabbage patch kids sleeper. And I got this at an estate sale for $1. I sold it for 18 and the buyer was all in for $24.62. And I do have an unboxing video of all this Cabbage Patch stuff that I got at this estate sale on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel if you like Cabbage Patch. This Fisher Price Octonauts, this is another replacement piece. You guys, this Octopod and Swing sold for $18 and the buyer was all in for $25.42. Another one of the Cabbage Patch outfits. How cute is this? It's like a little lamb or a sheep. It's from 1984, you guys. I took a best offer of $25 on this. The buyer was all in for $35.60, and I got this at an estate sale for $1. The next item is this Play School Dollhouse Replacement Roof. Now, you guys, you can usually get $40 to $50 bucks for these. This one, however, had a crack in it. So you can see I repaired it with a hot glue gun, but you can still kind of see it right there. Um, I did take a best offer on this for, did I write it down? Oh no. Did I take a best offer? I didn't write it down. I think this might've sold for $28.80. And this was a part of that dollhouse that I parted out and the buyer paid shipping. So again, if you get this, you can usually get 40 to 50 bucks out of these, probably more in the 40 range, but some people sell them for 30, 35, but I always hold out for 40, but this one was broke. All right. This little, um, I always want to call it a Dachshund, Dachshund is what I want to call it, but
but it's a Dotson. <laughs> it doesn't look like Dotson. Dotson should be spelled D-O-T-S-O-N, right? Who, who hears me on that? All right, you guys. I got this at the uh, thrift store for 25 cents and I sold it for $16 best offer. The buyer was all in for $23.28. And it is an ornament, you guys. And I'm guessing it's a dog and people like collect things that look like they're animals or somebody lost the item. Who knows? But ornaments can do really well. Some of them are long tail though. These are ceramic Sesame Street ornaments from 1977. I got these at the Goodwill for $2, sold them for $32 best offer. The buyer was all in for $40.51. The next item I sold is this 1998 Briar Berry Collection. Um, I got these at a garage sale, you guys. They go with these little bears. And um, these are like the accessories. And I paid a dollar each for them. And I have a bunch. Well, I shouldn't say a bunch. I probably have three or four more listed. In my store, I took a best offer of 22 on this and the buyer was all in for 3004. The next item is this Hello Kitty um Toki Doki. It's I, I underpriced it, guys, because it sold really fast. And the reason I priced it lower is because it had a defect here on the eye, but that is the back of the figure, but I still felt like it was important to disclose it. I should have auctioned this item starting at 18, but it sold. $18, buyer all in for $24.52. And I got this out of a mystery toy box from the thrift store. This is a Holland mold ceramic elf. It's just a little guy. Um, right here is the tape measure, about three inches. And I sold this for $18, garage sale 50 cents. And the buyer was all in for $23.80. The next item is this Corgi um, semi truck. This also came out of a new old stock vintage mystery toy box. I paid $100 from it for from auctions for you. This is one of the items that was in the box. I sold this for $30. The buyer was all in for $41.56 and this sold fast. Again, auctions for you is linked down below as well. These little VTech treasure seeker pirate ship replacement. It's the captain and the pirate. Um, I got this at a garage sale for about a buck and I sold it for $16.56. The buyer was all in for $24.79. This little Fisher Price loving family girl, it's a doll. I got this at a garage sale. I pick these up in bulk all the time. Sometimes I get them on Facebook Marketplace. This one sold for a best offer of $10. The buyer was all in for $15.40. This item also came out of a different mystery box that I purchased from auctions for you. It was also a hundred dollar mystery toy box. And again, unboxings for all of these are on my channel. So you can go look, search those. I ended up taking a best offer of $12 on this and the buyer was all in for 1820. And this one sold pretty quick. The next item I sold is this vintage Avon Bobbin Robin pin brooch from 1975. Um, I sold this for $10.80 and the buyer was all in for $15.87. I got that at a thrift store for $0.50. Cents. I ended up buying like, I don't know, 20 or 30 of these at the thrift store. And you guys, they have been selling really, really good. So uh, they are from the 70s. They're plastic. Uh, some of them have a fragrance inside of them. The fragrance is no longer good, um, but it's still a really cute pin. And I have the little collectible box that came with them. So. The next item is this Boyd Art Glass Candy, the Carousel Horse, hard to find color. I got this at a garage sale for 10 cents, sold it on best offer for 15 and the buyer was all in for 20, 20. Um, Right there is your Boyd mark. That's what it looks like if you guys are interested in learning about different makers marks. The next item I sold are these Snap-on Tools, Flathead Screwdriver Lapel Pin Tie Silvertone. Um, I got these out of my bulk buy jewelry lot um, and it was 344 pounds of jewelry. I ended up selling this for $25.20 and the buyer was all in for $31.81. Um, I just started, I'm going to go back and show you guys some more bolos, but I want to show you guys this. So I just started going through the 344 pounds of jewelry again. I have a ton of unboxing videos on this channel if you want to learn about jewelry. Some of them I collabed with Moonstone Mamas. She um, knows a lot about jewelry and all of the gemstone boxes that I unbox. She helped me with those. So those are really educational. Check those out. 
but I just started going through them again. So I'm wearing one of the necklaces. It's plastic. And what my uh, people in the chat told me was that these are trending right now, plastic necklaces. So I will be listing this one in my eBay store. It's just a white, chunky little necklace and I'm gonna get it listed. So be on the lookout for that if you're looking for a necklace. Uh, and I am doing the unboxings probably on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel in the future because I'm going to do them live. So come hang out over there. And that is linked down below as well. Okay, we did this one. Now I got to find where I was. Sorry. Okay. And here we are. I sold this nutcracker. I got this at a thrift store for five bucks and I sold him for $28.80 and the buyer was all in for $44.30. He is from 1997. The next item is this Loving Family Dollhouse um, High Chair Twins. For, so it's for the twins, the baby twins. Got this at a garage sale, paid, um, you guys, probably pennies by the time I parted it all out and I sell the furniture separately. It's not much at all. Uh, took a best offer of $10 on this and the buyer was all in for $15.69. The next item is this Ronald McDonald teeny beanie baby. And I sold this for $14 on auction and the buyer was all in for $19.08. This came out of a mystery toy box from a thrift store. Now, I will tell you guys, I was listing this during my working hangout and everybody was telling me to auction it. And I started the auction at 99 cents. So they were bidding in the chat on this. I don't know if a, um, I didn't recognize the name of the buyer. So I don't know if it's one of my subscribers that ended up buying it or not. Um, so if you bought it and you're a subscriber to the channel, thank you so much. And if not, that means it sold for $14. So it's a cute little uh, TY or Thai um, McDonald's. All right. The next item I sold is this pacifier buddy. It is a butterfly and I got this at a thrift store for $1.25. I sold it for $12.96 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1995 Mattel Barbie. It's a Doolittle Barbie and I got her for three bucks at a garage sale, sold her for 30 and the buyer was all in for $38.55. The next item is another one of those Avon uh, pins. This one actually has um, the fragrance glaze. And I sold this one for 16. The buyer was all in for $22.47. And I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. The next item is this ornament. And it actually, I think it has a little chip. I can't remember where it's at. Let me see the photo. Oh, right here on the foot. So I just put chipped in the title and it still sold you guys. Um, I sold it for $8. The buyer was all in for $14.57 and I got this at an estate sale for $1. The next item is this Worlds of Wonder Talking Mother Goose Tape and Book. It's from 1986 and I sold this for $28.80. The buyer was all in for $37.10 and I've got about $4 in this from a garage sale. And this one is Cinderella. So, um... If you want to know more about that, you can check out the thrift battle that I did on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. Um, that was one of the items that I shared. I got the goose and all of that stuff. And I can show you how I decided to list it in that video. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, again, there's links down in the description. Check those out. Um, check out some other videos. They're going to pop up here. And down here, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. As always, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, put an emoji of an owl in the comments if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.